Righto chaps, today we're going to have a look at the best Z270 or Z270 motherboard you can buy, the Zeus Maximus 4 Extreme motherboard. And this is probably the most craziest motherboard I've ever seen. It is got the whole kitchen sink chucked in. It costs around $900 or $950 in Australia, probably around the £600 or US dollars. It costs a lot, but when you think about it, this thing is water cooling made easy. And when you actually work out the cost of the actual water block in this, you'll find that the value is pretty good considering it is the best of the best. Now, there have been plenty of reviews on this. It's been out for a while, so I'm just going to give you my two, Bob. So I will leave a link to OC3D's review of this. He does the best motherboard reviews. But basically, this is the Rolls-Royce of Z270 motherboards. Now, it's for water cooling. And as I said, it's water cooling made easy because it has the water block included. And what this does is it makes the aesthetic clean because the water block is made for the motherboard itself. So if you go buy a water block from Bits Power or EK, they're sort of generic. They won't suit the motherboard and the style. Sometimes they make Strix versions of stuff, and but it's not going to be 100% matching to what the motherboard aesthetic is. This water block here supports Aura Sync, so you're going to get the lighting all synced up. It is a superb piece of craftsmanship, and that's what you notice when you grab the box. It's so heavy, and it's because of this water block. It is Bits Power water block. They used to use ZK, I don't know why they're using Bits Power, but with Bits Power you have the most connection, so I guess it's a good thing in that way. What's good about this is it not only calls the CPU, it calls the VRM area and the M.2, so that is fantastic. Now just a quick overview on this motherboard, it is Intel's 1151 socket, 7th and 6th generation CPU, so Skylake and Kaby Lake, integrated ROG monoblock, detects water flow, temperature, leakages, and as I said, it calls the M.2 as well. This has two M.2s, by the way. There's one below two, which is covered by a ROG heatsink there. So this has, of course, RGB headers, so you can get that Aura Sync going or your custom RGB. Has the best audio components there, Nishikon capacitors, Supreme FX, and you can use that Sonic Studio 3, which is great, so you can separate sound. Easy to overclock. It has... Azus's overclock utilities built in or a sink as I said actually around the motherboard you'll see it has gold plated PCB for EMI protection and maximum durability pre-mounted IO shield with gold plated PCB and EMI protection and this motherboard is future proof too because you do have USB 3.1 for front panel and onboard Thunderbolt 3 and 2 M.2 so the whole kitchen sink here also when you look at the motherboard how many rad headers it has there is unbelievable so you're covered with all your water cooling needs there water pump headers fan headers you even have included a fan extension hub there so fans water cooling rgb you're covered it has everything and it's just unbelievable how many rad headers it has so of course when you buy a zeus you get the most firmware updates, you have the best compatibility, and this has the best components too. The best MOSFETs, chokes, and capacitors there. Up to 4,133 MHz DDR, safe dim slots, and also reinforced PCI slots. So it's just the best of the best. This is chock-a-block full of features, water pump sensors, flow detectors, also wireless and Bluetooth, 2x2-802-11AC Wi-Fi. On the I.O. front, you have actually HDMI and DisplayPort out. You have the audio outs, Ethernet, USB 3.1, Type-C, Type-A, four USB 3s, four USB 2.0s. So you chuck a block full of stuff here. If you want an easy way into water cooling with the best aesthetic, this is the way to go. It is the best of the best. And I'll leave you with Dodgy Dave's thoughts. And of course, I'll link you to that OC3D full review. I think it's like 30 minutes. It tells you everything you need to know about this board in great detail. But I'll just sum it up. If you want the best of the best, Z270 gaming platform, water cooling done easy. This is the one to get. And I do have a review on the Zeus Poseidon 1080 Ti, which is water cooled as well. That would be perfect for this. And it makes things a lot easier. So thanks guys for watching. Any questions, leave them down there in the comments. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, tally ho. We'll get the water block out. What's special about this is that...
you can water cool it. It has its own water cooling block. So let's have a look here. Let's have a look-see look-see. And you gotta tell me about water cooling, Dodgy, because you are the water cooling king. Oh, every one of these pieces is water cooling. What do we got here? So this is the main bit here. This is the, oh, what is this? Oh, that's just a heat sink, right? This thing here, that's just a heat sink. So this is the main thing. So you can water cool this. Oh my God, that's where all the weight is. And look at the precision machining. Lights. Like RGB as well. Yep. So this is actually made by EK, I believe. I'm not sure. Yep, uh, definitely will be. That's the EK? Yeah, just... No. That's Bits Power. Bits Power. Is that the dragon for their dragon? Or that's Bits Power dragon, it looks. Tip give it up. That's Bits Power. Yeah. So this water block is made by Bits Power. And so what would you need to use this? Well, you need some fittings, some pipe. So this sort of stuff here, you need. That's a res. So EK will fit this. What what size connection is this? So that's quarter. Quarter. So all pretty the much a quarter. All of them. So yeah. pretty much anything that is quarter will fit it. So yeah. even all in ones. Yes, you can put them on if you wanted to. All in ones. You could uh, build a custom system. So Flexing. any EK all in one, or this one here is. What's Any that? of the brands are all standard size, quarter inch. Quarter inch. And, yeah. and what's this brand here? This is Bits Power. Bits, and they're good, are they? Yeah. Oh, they've got the most, they've got like seven, eight hundred fittings. So, so, it's probably the most complete EK system of water cooling. And that is heavy. And yeah, look how yeah, it's a solid block. Precision. It does, um, all the, uh... That's precision. Look at it. It's like machine, so... So that's what costs so much in this motherboard because this makes water cooling easy, doesn't it? Yeah. And if you just buy a normal water cooling, it's not going to have the RGB, is it? Nope. And this will sync with Aura and it's just going to be so much better for your system if you have a, a Zeus motherboard and you have all Aura sync and you're using, um, what's it called? If you're using, um, oh, I forget what the RGB is called now. So that's what all the weight is in there. Okay. So any so if you're getting this motherboard, you, you're gonna seriously overclock the chip, and that's the best way of keeping it cool. So you don't have to. No, put, you can just put a fan on it. Yeah. You don't have to use this. So yeah, but it's an still, option. But you need a bracket though if you don't put the fan on. Is that right? Yeah, okay. So, but it's so you put but that you water cool and this water cooling block that would cool these VRMs too. Yes, it does. So, you'll have to put thermo pads on those. Yep. And then put your chip in, put some thermo paste, and then screw it down. This water block is going to sync with all your lighting. Everything's going to sync together if you have all the Zeus, and it's just a. So, how much would one of these water blocks cost by itself, this brand? Uh. For a big one like that, it does, you know, you can just get the chip or the... If it done everything, done everything RM, yeah, with yeah, RGB. It's about 150 plus US. Yep, US. And that is with RGB, they don't really usually come with RGB? No, or? EK and that. Oh yes, EK, they do a Strix and that one, it's got okay. RGB now.